Hello friends, today we look into a very beautiful ornamental indoor plant, the Anthurium plant. We look into its important care tips, the common mistakes we tend to do while caring Anthurium and also learn how to propagate this plant. Coming up. Anthurium is actually a genus of about 1000 species of flowering plants. The actual botanical name of this plant is Anthurium andrianum. So at home gardening level we'll just call it Anthurium plant. Common names of this plant include tail flower, painter's palette, flamingo flower and lace leaf. The name Anthurium comes from the Greek word anthos meaning flower and aura meaning tail actually referring to the spadix. This spadix is actually similar to peace lily plant. We have discussed about peace lily in another detailed episode. You can check that link at the end screen of this video. Anthurium is a commonly grown ornamental shade plant or indoor plant with a bright colored spath or modified leaf with a central spadix. This spath can be bright red or pink in color. Anthurium is a short plant with heart shaped leaves. One of the most important point to note is all parts of the plant are poisonous to humans and pets. Whether by contact or if ingested orally can cause problems. Now let's look at some important care tips while growing Anthurium plant whether indoors or outdoors. On number one, sunlight. Anthurium prefers indirect bright light and can be kept in shady places and even indoors. But Bright light is important to produce flowering and keeping it fully indoors may not produce flowering. So keeping this in mind, you may keep this indoors at a spot which receives adequate indirect bright light. This plant what you are seeing is actually kept under a 50% shade net and it's performing well with no leaf burns. Avoid direct sunlight exposure. On number 2. Watering. This point is very important for anthurium plant care and the most common mistake what gardeners tend to do is overwater this plant. Anthuriums are far more tolerant of underwatering than overwatering, which is one of the most common reasons for anthurium plants to die. So what you can do is check once every alternate day by finger dip method that is in dipping your finger into the soil to check for the moisture and if the soil is still damp never water it now. Check it again after one or two days and then water the container. On number three, soil. This has to be a very well draining soil. If you bring the plant from a nursery and you find it planted in a clay rich soil, please remove the clay rich soil by soaking the root ball in a tub of water which dissolves the clay rich soil. Then you can repot this in a larger container in a well draining soil. Please watch my video on the universal potting soil from a link in description below and also from a link in the top right corner of this video. For Anthurium, you can make it a more well draining soil by adding extra perlite of about 20% in the potting mix. Then on number 4, fertilizer requirement. I prefer only organic fertilizers once every 3 months. This is more than enough. You can add a handful of decomposed cow dung or vermicompost. One more important step to add into the soil while repotting or any point of time is one or two teaspoons of bone meal powder that is steamed bone meal powder which is rich in phosphorus and can induce flowering for a long period of time. On number 5, pest control. Commonly affected by sucking pests like the aphids, thrips and mites and also the leaves are eaten by caterpillars and slugs and snails. Weekly general garden spray of neem oil along with your other plants is sufficient to keep these pests and insects at bay. On number 6. Propagation of Anthurium. It can be grown in many ways like from seeds and by dividing the root ball during repotting and then separating into independent plants. You can even root Anthurium cuttings in water or soil. So there you have it folks, that was a short episode on growing Anthurium plant. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!